Hello everyone, this is John and Nicole, and we are going to talk about Poisson distribution and exponential distribution. So let me introduce Poisson distribution to you guys first. Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution, and it expresses the probability of a given number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time and or space. If these events occur with a known average rate and they are independent. So as we can see in this formula, uh, mu is the average rate and x is the number of events occurring in a fixed interval and mu has to be greater than zero. So mu can be like three liters in a day or like five arrivals an hour. Before we choose to use the Poisson distribution, we have to look at the sample size and the probability. For the sample size, it has to be greater than 100 and for the probability, it has to be less than 0 0.01. Besides the formula in the previous slides, we can also use this one here. Um, so if P is the probability that K events will be observed during any particular time interval of length T and K is a Poisson RV with parameter mu equals to alpha t, then we can use this one. It's very handy to use it. Now we are going to talk about the exponential distribution. This distribution is used to model the times between the occurrence of successive events. That's the main difference between the Poisson distribution and the exponential distribution. Because Poisson distribution usually measures the number of events in a given time, which is the arrivals per second. And the exponential distribution has a single parameter called lambda, which has the unit seconds per arrival. And here is the formula for the PNF and the CDF. And the expected value of exponential distribution is 1 over lambda, and variance is 1 over lambda squared. The most important thing is that the exponential distribution has memoryless property, which means the occurrence of a certain event does not depend on the occurrence of event happening in past. So every instant is like a beginning of a new random period. So the distribution, regardless of how much time has elapsed, it has the, this property here. Okay, so let me explain Poisson distribution with one example. So the questions I found was, suppose small aircraft arrive at a certain airport according to a Poisson process with rate alpha equals to 8 per hour, so that the number of arrivals during a time period of t hours is a Poisson random variable with parameter mu equals to 8t. We have lambda, which is also mu equals to 8t, and for this question, t equals to 1. So we can just apply to the formulas here. And since the Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution, so we have to be very careful about what to write for the x. So for x equals to 6, um, we just subtract this two, and we can get the number 0.122. And for x greater than 6, we have to be careful about what this is. So it has to be 5 because this is a discrete distribution. And the same thing applies to x is greater than 10. And we can get this number here. And let's move on to the next question. What are the expected value and standard deviation? So the only thing changes in this question is t. Whenever t changes, of course, our lambda or mu changes too. So when t equals to one and a half hour, our lambda equals to 12. And as we can see in this rule here, expected value and variance equals to mu. So the expected number of arrivals is 12. And the standard deviation is just simply square root of variance. So it's square root of 12, which is 3.464 in this question. And uh, let's look at the last one. So we have t here, and we use the same formula we used before. So our mu is 20. And in this case, it's asking when x is greater than 20. So we simply apply what we had for the question one. Um, we can derive the answer to be 0 0.30. And uh, for 10, for x smaller than 10, because it has an equal sign, so we have to use f1020 here. And we can get the answer 0 0.011. And that's it for Poisson distribution. Now we are going to see an example of exponential distribution. And this question is from the book, chapter four, question 59. And this question assumed that um, 
the x has an exponential distribution with lambda equals to 1, and it asks about the expected value and standard deviation of time between successive arrivals for part A and part B. As we talked before, the expected value is 1 over lambda, and variance is 1 over lambda squared. So the part A and part B is quite simple. That expected value is 1 over lambda, 1 over 1, which is 1. And since the variance is 1 over lambda squared, so the standard deviation is square root of 1 over lambda squared, which is 1 over lambda, which is also 1. And the part C asks about the probability of x less than 4, and part D asking about the x between 2 and 5. So we can do these two together. And we know that the CDF distribution has this formula, 1 minus e to the negative lambda x. So quite simple, this part C, the x smaller than 4 is here, 1 minus lambda times e to the power of negative lambda times x. So we get 0 0.982. The part D is kind of similar. We use the a probability of x smaller than 5 to minus probability of x smaller than 2, and we get 0.129.